ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Welcome to Atau Education Ingredient. My name is Rosalia Wong. Guess what I'm going to bring you today? Today the topic is called Critical Practice in Adult Education. <music> Today, the research and finding was done by Basel in 2004. And uh, Basel suggests that um, if we want to know what do you mean by critical practice in adult education, we need to start from knowing the aims first. So Basel rule out four types of aims. So first aims is um, critical practice is to convey uh, a set of beliefs via a uh, a uh, set of learning activities in the classroom. The second aim is the reason why the teachers, the educators and the instructors teach a certain way are clear to the learners. And the third aim is to wish that by some major tricks of fast talking and learners will see the things that educator does. The fourth aim is to treat the differences not as simply as conflict that can and uh, should be resolved and not as disagreements in which we do the right things, but to agree that these are the opportunities for us to learn and grow together. So for all the suggestions and advices, pull me through the links from the description section, and I will give you all the insights into what you need to know for your profession and your organization. Today, for this topic, I'm going to divide that into four parts. So the first part will be um, classroom as everyday uh, critical practice. The second part I'm going to focus on consumption and consumerism in a critical method. The third part I'm going to talk about reinventing the spirit of critique. The final, the fourth part is uh, talk about the what does teaching uh, for the postmodern um, pers perspective means. Okay? What does teaching for the post modern perspectives mean? Now, let us go and dig deep into the topic. Now, first one, the classroom as an everyday critical practice. So what do you mean by that? So it is to focus on the social class by linking it to the education in the classroom. So the classroom education actually provides us with a glimpse of how the real world uh, goes and for example in the classroom we can see that it is a key uh, site for educational activities and it is for teaching influences people attitudes towards education learning and the society as a whole and it is how we teach has uh, a lot to do with how we expect and want people to be and also what kind of citizens should we encourage in our learners and also ideally, you know, that the citizen in the classroom, the citizens refer to the students in the classroom, do their assignments uh, on time and they obey the teacher, conform to the rule and to develop the spirit of um, uh, competition and strive to achieve. Also, ideally, students or the citizens in the classroom, they do not rock the boat. They do not criticize uh, or um, question the authority and do not think too much about themselves. So, you can subscribe to my channel by hitting the button so I'll bring you uh, new things, new insights and new ingredients and new topics every Monday and Thursday and so that you can you not miss anything. Let's get back to the topic again. So, we cultivate and nurture our children in this way so as to produce citizens of passivity, conformity, productivity and competition. So, a pedagogic concentration on competition, productivity, and passivity work well to keep the, um, the larger society mechanisms of the capitalism unexamined. So, um, uh, some of the researchers suggest that there is a way um, and they use the tr the suggest three components used in the classroom for approaching problems with social class lens and to promote active citizenship. So what are the three components? The first one I'm going to focus on is the places. So what do you mean by places? 
So places actually is the cycle of the critical reflection and action that connects our daily activities with broader theoretical analysis. Places also got some fundamental questions such as what counts as knowledge and how is such knowledge produced and distributed and whose interests do different forms of knowledge serve and do certain forms of legitimate one set of interests above the others and the questions such as like how might alternate forms of knowledge and knowledge production be considered and now that brings us to the second components that suggest by Nisbet actually 2004 and side by sending so the second component of the uh, uh, the approaching to problems and uh, to promote active citizenship in the class is to teach teaching must extend uh, uh, students or learners' knowledge into social critique. Okay. So to serve the critical awareness instead of um, focusing on ironing the complexity and or problematizing the social problems or issues. So this is a, the characteristic of the second component uh, approaching the um, problems and um, to promote active citizenship is to uh, develop critical awareness and instead of focusing on the ironing the complexity or problematizing the social problem or issues. Now which brings us to the third component which, me, which is the encourage students to become knowledge creators rather than the recipients of the pre-packaged contents. The pre-packaged contents which refers to classroom principles. So how do we do it? So. Now, we must, first of all, we must realize the, the word power. So the power is, power is one of the fundamental characteristics of social interaction. So you should explore how power um, operates and accumulated, like how power maintained and used. And then focus on the questions such as, who, who benefits from the way adult education is organized? Questions such as, whose knowledge and ways of knowing are considered legitimate and questions such as what are the relationship between the world of uh, educational theories, practices and policies and those of the, the larger society. So if you like the uh, contents, remember to put a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Okay, let's get back to the topic again. Now we come to the second part of the topic. Second part is consumerism and the consumption in the critical methods. So there are conflicts, of course, between the words uh, consumer and citizen. For example, in the United States of America, uh, citizen is considered as consumer. So dem democracy has come to mean uh, having the freedom to choose from a variety of goods. The blending place is uh, out of the individualization of environmental um, responsibility tied to consumption and the loss of civic responsibility. So how does critical um, practice play in consumerism and the uh, consumption perspectives? According to Macrico 1991 cited by sending that uh, critical consumer education positions learners as citizen uh, concerned with the public goods. And Vergas in 1996 cited by sending that they use the consumer education as global pedagogy. So global education incorporate a more critical look at the ways uh, means of consuming and a stronger uh, development of community and civic rights. So for other education approach to uh, approach to consumer education, watch the video on the link above. And also you can subscribe to my channel by hitting the button so you don't miss anything as I bring you new ingredient, new topic and new insights every Monday and Thursday. Okay, now get back to the topic. Now we come to the third part of the topic is reinventing the spirit of critique. So how do we do it? The uh, study was done by Claire in 2004 and uh, Claire suggests that um, you know, the adult educators can change the world. How? That by keep reinventing social uh, spirit, uh, critic, uh, spirit of critique, but reinventing, keep reinventing the spirit of critique and by keep pushing for change, okay? And also challenging the power structure between the teachers and students, between the institutions and human. And also keep uh, 
by starting the public acknowledgement, uh, the privileges from the academy, and also by committing critique, that is naming, and uh, acting against ourselves, and uh, and and other people. So now I come to the final part of the um, topic, which is, what does teaching for a postmodern perspective means? So in moving towards a uh, postmodern pedagogy. We must bring into clarity the um, ideological context of the adult education in the classroom, the adult education classroom by questioning, critiquing, and sometimes rejecting the social positions of the teacher and the students. To accomplish, uh, accomplish this, we might first surprise ourselves out of the social uh, situations. Also, we will open the adult education classroom to the many perspectives of the learners who engage in it because without the uh, diverse conversation about the uh, nature of the particular phenomena, we cannot hope to understand the phenomena. We will stop fantasizing an independent, uh, unified uh, learning self and instead knowledge, acknowledge our multiple selves that are constantly in flux, which hold contingent and um, completing understanding of the adult education classroom. Also, we should seek to collectively construct out of this tentative and contingent and always uh, becoming a tangle of interpretation and important knowledge that uh, it is also both personally empowerment and also socially transforming. Okay, that's all for my topic today. And remember, I got a list of books under in the description section. You can click them and buy and uh, buy them, and you can read them and know more about uh, adult education ingredients, which is beneficial for yourself, for your profession, and for your organization. And also now, in conclusion, today, what should, what have we learned? Today we learned that classroom education provides us with a glimpse of how the real world goes. And also we learned that we cultivate and nurture our children in a way as to produce citizens uh, of a productivity, passively, and competition, and conformity. So we also learned that democracy has come to uh, mean having the freedom uh, to choose from a variety of uh, goods. We also learned that the global pedagogy incorporates a more critical uh, look at the way and a means of consuming, consuming a, a stronger development of uh, community and civic rights. And also today we learned that in moving towards a postmodern pedagogy, uh, we must bring into the quality, the idea, uh, ideological context uh, of the adult education classroom by questioning, critiquing, and sometimes rejecting the social position of the student, a teacher and the student. That's all for my topic today. So for also suggestion and advices, put me through the link from the description section you and I will give you all the insights into what you need to know about your profession and your organization. And also subscribe to my channel by hitting the button so you will not miss anything as I bring you new ingredients, new topic and new insights every Monday and Thursday. Finally, thank you very much for your tuning in. Until next time and goodbye.